welcome back to another session at GoTarts. I hope you've all been having a really lovely week. Last week we started learning all about the creation story. So we did day one where God gave us a light so it wasn't always dark. We had day two where he separated the waters so we have the sky above us and the waters below. And I thought today we should learn all about what God created on day three. On the third day, God looked at the earth and while it was good, he thought we can add more. So he made the giant mountains as high as the eye could see. He also made the rolling hills luscious and green. He parted the waters and added the roaring waves to them. He made sandy beaches that we can go and make sandcastles on. And you know what else he filled with sand? The beautiful dry deserts. He made lakes in the land so that all the land would get the water that it needed. And he also then put some foliage in the land. He put plants and trees like apple trees that we can get fruit from that we see here in England. And also, things we find in more tropical places, like palm trees that we can get coconuts from. He also made the beautiful poppies we see in the fields. And he made all the other gorgeous flowers that are in the world in all the different colours that you can imagine. He made the grains for us to harvest to make food. Like here we've got some wheat that you can use to make bread. And he made all the other fruits and vegetables, some that grow in the ground, some that we get from vines, any fruit and vegetable you can think of, he made it on that day. He even made plants that grow in the water, like the seaweed we can see here. Doesn't it look so cool? So God made all of this and at the end of the third day he looked and he said, it is good. God made all the beautiful landscapes that we can see across the world and they look so different in all the different places. That's one of the reasons why people love to travel so much because each place is filled with such different beauty. Unfortunately at the moment we're not able to actually go and travel to these places but that doesn't mean that we can imagine ourselves on an adventure. So come with me as we imagine we go to some of the cool places that God's created. First, we're gonna go to the seaside. Have you ever been to the seaside before? I love to go to the seaside when it's full of beautiful sand that I can feel between my toes. I love to go and dig big holes and make a big sand castle that I can put a flag on the top. It's fun to go to the rock pools and have a look and see what we can see in them. And it's also my favourite thing to do is to go down to the water and put my toes in. But here in England it's normally very cold in the water. It's so nice to see the waves crashing against the shore coming in and out, in and out. Next, let's go to the jungle. The trees are as tall as the eyes can see. There's vines everywhere. We can pretend that we're Tarzan and swing on them. We can see beautiful flowers, unlike any that we can see here. Some of them are, some of them are dangerous. We must not touch them. Now other ones, others of them have the most beautiful scent that we've ever smelled, even nicer than perfume. The last place we're going to go is to the Arctic where it's as white as far as the horizon. It's white because it's all of the snow on the ground and we can hear it crunching under our feet as we walk. It's really cold in the Arctic, so we've got to make sure we're wearing our really big coats to keep us warm. And can you hear that? I think we can hear some ice cracking. We've got to make sure we stay away from the ice cracking. It's so fun to imagine that we're at different places while we can't go to them. 
Maybe ask your parents somewhere that they absolutely loved being, somewhere they thought was beautiful, and ask them if they can find some pictures for you to look, have a look at. And then, imagine that you're there. What can you see? How does it smell? Is it hot? Is it cold? How does it feel? Think of all the different things that you can see in this place and let your imagination go wild. We've taken all of the beautiful pictures of the things that God made on day three and we've put them here. Isn't it so colourful and so amazing? You know what my favourite part of it is? These beautiful flowers down here. And you know what? That's given me an idea for a fun craft we could do. For today's craft, we are going to make some flowers. All you're going to need is some tissue paper, pipe cleaner, it's got to be something that can bend, and some scissors. Now you either need children's scissors or you need an adult to help you. And you're going to need to measure your tissue paper so that the length is twice as long as the size. So mine is 12 inches by 6 inches or 30 centimetres by 15 centimetres, whichever measurement you prefer. And I have four layers of tissue paper. You'll either need four or three. Okay, so once your tissue paper is all measured out and laying on top of each other, now you need to start folding it. So I'm going to fold it this way first because it's easier. So you want to fold it back on itself. So you fold a little bit one way, then you flip it over, over, and you fold it back. The same distance, and you flip it, and you fold it back. And once again, you're going to flip it. Then you should be left with something that looks a little bit like a fan. But you want to keep it together and get your scissors, ask an adult to help you, and you want to cut the ends so they're nice and round or so they're pointed, depending on what you want your flowers to look like. So you want to make sure that all of the layers are getting cut. Your cap with the mind your fingers. Put this to the side. Alright, so now that's done, we're going to get our pipe cleaner. And you want to wrap the pipe cleaner in the middle of the tissue paper. So I'm going to fold it over and then I'm going to make sure at the bottom that I twist it so it's secure. And now here's the fun part. You might need an adult to help you because you'll need to be careful. But this is the part where you start unfolding the tissue paper. So first, you're gonna fan it out. And then you're gonna pull the layers apart nice and gently. It's a little fiddly, so it might take a bit of time. That's all right. Okay, and make sure you separate each layer. Now we have a beautiful big flower and if you 
want to, you can either cut out some paper, some green paper in a leaf shape and add it on, or you can just twist a pipe cleaner and make yourself a little leaf. And now you have a beautiful flower. So you can do what I did here and put four layers together, or you can make a slightly smaller flower with just three layers of tissue paper or you know what you can make them super colourful flowers by putting different coloured tissue paper together so when you fold it out you have a gorgeous multicoloured flower and you know what I made another one so here I have a beautiful bouquet of flowers and the great thing about this bouquet is they're not going to die or start turning brown. You don't need to fill a vase with water. You can just stick them somewhere. They make your room look very nice and pretty. I had fun making that. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well and are staying safe. We would love to see pictures or videos of you doing any of the crafts or activities that we've shown you here at Goat Tarts and you can send them to the email address listed below with your parents' permission of course. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed yourself, that's all for this week, so until next time guys, bye!